Uh, I'm going to pontificate a little Please bit. Please pontificate. I mean, ev everybody out there has a set of talents. If you can find a way to create revenue streams with your talent and keep your cost of living low and get into a healthy lifestyle, you know, you can have this incredible happiness and it, it doesn't come with a huge price tag. Everybody, it's Robin with Creativity RV and I'm here with my new friend Michael. Michael, you want to say hi? Sure. Hello everyone. Michael's an artist and we met here at the North Beach Campground in Pismo Beach and he's going to tell us about his really cool truck camper and how he gets on the road as an artist. Hello. Um, yeah, I, I recently got this Tacoma, uh, Toyota Tacoma truck here, the pickup truck, and um, I got this four-wheel pop-up camper to go on top of it because I'm an artist and I travel I go on long trips all over the United States very cool and over here's my trailer filled with lots of big paintings and uh, so I as I travel around and deliver my work to galleries all over the all over the country uh, ski resorts uh, big cities oh, wow. New York City you know wow. Philadelphia LA but then I'm also you know Park City Utah and Laguna Beach and and so I'm in and out of a lot of really interesting places and I just deliver my work to the galleries because it's extremely expensive to ship large works and that comes out of your cut and that comes out of my cut mm -hmm. and it, it also it's it's it works beautifully because that way the gallery can always have a lot of fresh big work on hand what a great idea and that way I get to I have a lot of fun when I go on these trips because I go camping I go you know, I, I bring my kayak, so I go out on the water and I fish, oh, I, I, I hike, I go to national parks and national monuments. So I'm, I'm always checking things out and taking my time, and these trips can take a month and a half. I'll be on the road for a mm -hmm. month. Mm -hmm. So this is a pop-up trailer. This, this whole unit pops up, the whole ceiling or the whole roof pops up. It's more than two feet. I can stand in here, and uh, we'll show you the inside. Over here, this is a trailer. Wow. And I deliver a lot of big work. This is all like large scale abstract. This, you've got a lot of work in here. A lot of work in it. It's a small trailer, but it holds a lot. And then up here is my pedal drive kayak. Nice. For getting out on the water. And I food. want a kayak. Um, so it's not like you're doing anything special to pack it in here. It's just packed just in nice board, and Just cardboards and it's yeah. really packed in real tight. And how much does this weigh? Uh, this can weigh 1,500 pounds to 2,000 pounds. But e get... easily pulled with your Tacoma. It's easily pulled with the Tacoma. All right. Okay, tell us about the camper. Well, when I, okay, when I first got inside one of these and it was popped up and I'm looking at this whole, you know, king size bed area here and I'm looking at, at, at and everything, you know, like this, I'm thinking, well, this is almost magical. It's like, how can... How can this little tiny thing open up into such a big space like this? Mm -hmm. And I was I got really thrilled because this is this is all the space I need. I mean I can I can I can cook on here. How tall are you? I'm six foot four. Oh my god, you guys I can look stand. It doesn't even I hit can the stand ceiling. In here. And that, that's essential. You gotta be able to stand. Yeah. But I mean this bed, you know, I mean I, I I'll show you. I mean it's it's uh Wow. It's extremely comfortable. Yeah. You know, and I got all the room I need in the world here. I have a big screen, but I can put a big screen, a pop-up pop a television screen behind you, and mm -hmm. I can put a projector here, and I can watch movies. Wow. In here. I got wow. Wi-Fi in here. Wow. Um, and so this is the kitchen over here? Yeah, it's not much of a kitchen, but I mean, uh, I have a neat little stove that I, that I use. Um, you know, this thing here, which I'll just bring out and set on here and... There it is. Oh, wow. That's great. So that's, and then, but the nicest thing about this place, this, the, the nicest thing about this, one of the nicest things about this uh, camper, there's, there's a lot of nice things, but the, one of the nicest things is this, it's got this furnace, so I can pop on the furnace, and if it's, I've been camp, oh, I camp wow. at zero degrees outside, and I can get oh, wow. 70 in here. All night long, mm -hmm. very easily, and it's and so, that's run off your that's propane. solar propane propane. That's propane. I also have a solar a solar panel up mm -hmm. here, 
and I, I have see a, which is doing pretty good there. I have a, a, a an in, inverter right here that I can uh -huh. I can plug into and get full 110. Did that come with the camper? No, or I had, you put I, it all I, in. I added that. Okay. But um, great great organization right there, by the way. I know yeah. everyone's always curious. Yeah, it's 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 simple. It really works. Uh -huh. But I love the furnace, and and the furnace makes all the difference in the world because. If I'm out fishing and I get cold or when, you know whatever, I mean it's you can sleep in here without even a sleeping bag. Yeah, and above you, that's a fantastic fan or, or just a no. Pop -up? This is I didn't have a, actually. It's just a pop up. Just I didn't. A, I, I I got this thing. That's great. This was a shell model. I got it pretty well stripped down. Um, so How I much paid, are one of these? Do you mind if I? I paid fourteen, just about fourteen thousand for it. Uh huh. And it's just a shell model. If you get everything, you can get everything in them. They they have, you know, they have a sink running water, water tanks, they've got a uh, bathroom, full bathroom shower. I mean, you can get them with everything and you can get them for as, as much as 30,000. Right. Um, but I just, I basically just wanted to start myself so mm -hmm. that I could start traveling and using it and I can build it out myself. Um, there's plenty of room to build stuff, but I, sure. I do have a refrigerator. Okay. Right here. So oh, I see. This is nice. Great little fridge. To have a great little fridge that keeps everything cold. And so these these sides, you, you put up the, the flaps here. Yeah, these, these, so they have a clear. Oh, nice. They so have you a can clear, get air. And then they have this mm -hmm. for privacy. And so everything above, above this area right here pops down. Yeah, we, we, this whole thing, this whole roof pops down and lays right on that. Right. Level. So everything important like the refrigerator and your storage goes below that yeah, level. Everything everything's down here. Right. This Lug a balloon. This is Ish. you know just it's real simple, nothing fancy. Um, a bench. Like I said, I can more storage. I can always build it out later and make yeah. it fancy, but the, I wanted to get going with it. What do the black panels do? These th that's actually the structure of it, it, this thing can handle high winds. Oh, I see. So that's Oh, that's fascinating. I was recently down on the Texas border, and I mean, the winds were like 60 miles an hour. Because I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is kind of a fabric. Yeah, this when is. When it pops up. This is a real good canvas. It's right, like so that laminated. it just goes down into the casing, but then when it's popped up, there are these black panels that help support it. They're fiberglass, and they're very. They're very lightweight, That's great. and yet they're and they fold, but they're also very structurally sound. I can handle high winds in here. You know what I think might be really nice about this is um, you can see a little bit of sunlight through the the, the sides. Yeah. I want to keep calling it burlap. I know it's not. It's like a plastic. It's canvas with plastic. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when the sun rises, you're going to see it, and right. when the sun goes down, you're going to see it, which is one of the best parts. Well, let me ask you this: if um, if there's any artists or people out there that want to think about doing this and they're on a tight budget but they like your idea of going to visit the galleries where would you tell them to start well I mean my you know I know people who who don't have a lot of money who want one of these and you can if you watch Craigslist you can actually find them for as low as 2500 or 3500 and my, my son recently saw one for thirty five hundred dollars that had you know had a lot of extra sink and and, wow. and uh, everything. So, if you keep your eye out on Craigslist, you can you can probably find a used one. Mm -hmm. Now they they hold their value really well, and they're very very popular. So they're going to be snapped up sure. really fast. And the trailer? And the trailer. Well, you can get a trailer like that for you know seventeen hundred bucks. Yeah. And 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 you know get a license a, a license plate that's good for for you know ever. So I mean, so maybe six grand. You could get, get all on the road, up. Well, but then could, no rent. You could, get, you could get an old, you if know, you, if, I would say you, if you, you could get a decent Tundra or a Tacoma for, you know, I don't know, you, you could get a decent one for maybe 8000 to 12000 used, and then you could get a used pop-up camper for, let's say, 3000 You'd need, you, you'd probably need, you know, 15 or 20 grand to get, mm -hmm. to get set up. Mm -hmm. I mean, but you know, there's a lot of people out there that are paying two, three thousand dollars for rent in cities, right. trying to make it as an artist. Right. If you reduce your costs, if you reduce your overhead, and then and then put all that into this, and this is you know this has good resale value, and you don't have to pay rent or I mean, so you're you're actually way ahead. If you can scrape together and and somehow sell off um, stuff to to get set up, mm -hmm. it's a great way to go. And and actually, I'm gonna. I haven't done this yet, but I'm going to actually, um, in some cases, put my work, my 
paintings and my paint supplies into the trailer and mm -hmm. go out into the national forest or by and a in lake plain air just and actually paint plain air that actually oh. paint paint on on you know on site uh, Those you know, sell. go fishing, go boating, mm -hmm. and painting, and you know, make meals. I mean, if I catch a fish, I can bring him in. That's you know, great. I can I can smoke it and make smoke fish pate mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. you know, and pop a this, beer. Oh my God, that sounds great! <laughs> in this um, in this campground, we're paying twenty five bucks a night because we're right next to the beach. Right. But do you normally do do you frequently pay for a campground or do you do more public land? I do. That keeps I the I, I, I down? the 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 bulk of places where I stay are free. I mean, if I'm on the highway. I'll stay at a Walmart uh, parking lot a lot of times. If I'm, you know, on a on an interstate, I'll pull over and sleep like six or eight, six or seven hours uh, in a Walmart parking lot, mm -hmm. typically. Um, but then the national forest, I, I'll go camping in national forest anytime, anywhere for as long as I like for free. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I, I find lots of really interesting places to to camp. Also, I'm a senior, so I get a senior discount. I was just down on the Route 10, and and almost all the state parks, uh, all I had to do was say I was a senior, and I got you know a lot of times it was ten dollars a mm -hmm. night, wow. and that was hookup. They had electric and and, and wow. you know, they had hookups. So that's great. Tell us the name of your website. Uh, MichaelKessler.com. Okay, and, and and on there is a link to my blog and my PDFs and all my and YouTube stuff. and all YouTube that stuff. And great, everything I have. and everybody, of course, the links for him and his work are going to be down below. Um, anything else you want to tell us about your camper um, or about your life? You know, it's it's really living the dream. It's like you, you, you reduce, it, the whole point is you reduce your overhead. You can then afford to buy really good organic food. Mm -hmm. uh, I make lots of green smoothies and salads. I, I live really well on the road. I eat really well. I exercise. I mean, you can have a lifestyle that is where you've reduced your overhead dramatically and um, you're, you know, you're living comfortably, you're living well. I mean, every time I pop this up and come in, it's like I'm home again. I feel very comfortable. I you know, love you get that. you get a routine, you know where everything is, you, you got everything ship shape, and you really know what ship shape means. And yep. you know, you it's 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 comfortable, it's safe, it's fun, and uh, man, it's it's a lifestyle that you know, obviously is catching on. A lot of people are getting into it. Right, and you clearly love it like I do. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's the way to go. All right. Anything else you want to pontificate on? Um, you know, find the courage to, to pursue your dream, really, and don't settle for less. That's what I say. So thanks, everybody, and I want to say thank you to my new friend, Michael, for showing us his life. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, you're very welcome. This is a really great way for an artist to work on their craft and travel, and I hope it was a good example to people. Um, if it was, please do share this with your friends and like and subscribe to the channel, and definitely check out Michael's um, website and his YouTube channel. And for now, we're going to say goodbye. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and be free. Take care. Be well.